how do the molecules of life work? How will the materials of the future function? How can we generate energy and use our natural resources more efficiently? Questions for Flash, the high-speed camera for the nano cosmos. Since 2005, the world's first free electron laser in the X-ray range, Flash at DAISY in Hamburg, has been generating a very special kind of light for researchers from all over the world. Extremely intense, ultra-short pulsed X-ray laser flashes. Researchers are using them to observe the movement of atoms and molecules. This coveted form of radiation is generated as follows. Electrons are accelerated to almost the speed of light. Special arrangements of magnets, called undulators, force the electrons to move along a slalom course. In the curves, the fast particles emit short flashes of X-ray light. These flashes overlap and oscillate in sync to create the unique X-ray laser light. Flash generates incredibly intense and short flashes of light. They are only femtoseconds long, in other words, a quadrillions of a second. This is so interesting because in nature, for example, chemical reactions occur on these timescales. Thus, using flash, we are able to, so to speak, create films from these reactions. As it is the first of its kind, many techniques have been pioneered at Flash to create such films from nanocosm. If you want to observe the details of chemical reactions, for example, you first take a huge number of individual images until you have recorded all of the stages of the reaction. Arranging these images in sequence creates a film that shows the process at the molecular level. With X-ray lasers such as Flash, we can actually follow how atoms and molecules move. And with this information, we can design new materials, for example, for information technology or new drugs. The basis for this development was actually laid by Albert Einstein. In 1905, he explained the photo effect by showing that light can actually behave as particles. And that was a revolutionary hypothesis for its time. When a substance is irradiated with X-ray light quanta, electrons are knocked out of the atomic shells. Just like a chemical fingerprint, they characterize the probed material. On this foundation, the Swedish Nobel Prize laureate Kai Ziegbarn developed a pioneering method for determining the chemical composition of matter. The so-called electron spectroscopy technique is applied in many modern laboratories to reveal the electronic structure of all kinds of matter. Also at DAISY there are a number of experimental stations. At FLASH, Siegmund's method is used to study the ultrafast dynamics on atoms, molecules and nanoparticles. An example would be the investigation of catalytic processes at surfaces. How can we optimize the surfaces of catalysts and solar cells? How do ultra-thin magnetic layers give rise to powerful data storage media? How does a virus infect a cell? And how can a pathogen be effectively blocked? Which exotic forms of matter exist in the interiors of distant planets? Flash is blazing the trail into the dynamic world of ultra-fast processes in atoms and molecules. At FLASH, we've developed the methods to image molecular reactions taking place in real time. The era of filming molecular reactions has really begun, and the applications from these new techniques will really be groundbreaking. On the DAISY campus, the full potential of new accelerator-based technologies is being exploited. Three world-class light sources form the basis of a vibrant and interdisciplinary research campus for scientists from all over the world. Flash, the X-ray light source Petra 3 and the new X-ray laser European XFEL 
which is currently under construction. The journey into the dynamic world of atoms and molecules has just begun and the light sources here at DAISY are opening up many new pathways into a bright future.